Hello everyone and welcome back to our lesson in Eng Ten. For this video, I am going to talk about rational inequality. So a rational inequality can be written in the form P of X over Q of X box tapos zero where the symbol inside the box can be any of the four inequality symbols there. So a fraction such as P of X over Q of X can change sign whether either the numerator or denominator changes sign. Therefore, the critical numbers of the inequality are those numbers for which either the numerator or denominator of the non-zero side of the rational expression is zero. Okay, so we are going to solve two problems for this lesson. The first problem is x plus 4 over x minus 1 is less than 0. Okay, to solve rational inequalities, uh, we are going to write all non-zero terms dito sa left part of the inequality. But since our given is already written in that form, so skip natin yung step na yun. Ang susunod is to solve for the critical numbers. The critical numbers are actually the zeros from the numerator and zeros of the denominator as well. Okay, so equate natin yung uh, numerator to zero. So x plus 4 equals zero. Isulat ko muna dito critical. Okay, critical numbers. Okay, so equate ko yung x plus 4 equals zero. So I have x is equal to negative 4. Also, yung sa denominator, so x minus 1 equals 0, so I have x is equal to 1. Okay, so I have two critical numbers dito, x equals negative 4 and x is equal to 1. Kung isasulat ko ito in a real number line, igregraph ko itong dalawang critical numbers na yan, kagaya ng ginawa natin doon sa polynomial inequality, these two critical numbers divide our real number line into three uh, intervals. Okay? So, meron tayong tatlong intervals uh, from negative infinity to negative 4. Tapos from negative 4 to positive 1 and from positive 1 to positive infinity. Okay? Positive infinity. Okay, so kagaya ng ginawa natin doon sa polynomial inequality, we are going to use the table form. Okay, so sulat natin dito sa first column yung interval, okay, or the intervals. We have ne uh, negative infinity to negative 4. We have negative 4 to positive 1. And then we have from positive 1 to infinity, Okay. And for the second interval, I mean second column, dito yung test. Okay, test value natin. Okay. Kukuha tayo ng number na nandito sa interval. Okay, from negative infinity to negative 4 to negative 5. Okay. Kahit anong number, ano, basta nandoon sa interval natin. Dito from negative 4 to positive 1, so 0. From 1 to infinity, so 2. Okay. And then let us uh, determine the sign of all the factors of both the numerator and denominator. So, dalawa lang naman. X plus 4, tsaka X minus 1. And finally, dito sa last column, i-determine natin yung symbol ng or sign ng X plus 4 divided by X minus 1. Okay. So, when x is equal to negative 5, negative 5 plus 4 is negative. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative. So, therefore, if we divide negative divided by negative, the answer is positive. Okay, dito sa pangalawa, we have when x is equal to 0. So, 0 plus 4 is positive. 0 minus 1 is negative. So, divide natin. Positive divided by negative is negative. Dito sa pangatlong interval, pa, uh, positive 2. So, 2 plus 4 is positive. 2 minus 1 is also positive. So, positive divided by positive is also positive. Now, uh, itong 
ano yung hinahanap natin. No? Let us look at the original inequality na given. We are looking for the values where x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 is less than 0. Kailangan natin yung negative kasi, kasi less than yan. So, ito yung, yan yung uh, sagot natin. Pero mayroon pang isang tanong dito. Since ito ay rational inequality na, uh, at, at ito hindi naman kasali yung equal, ano, equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, hindi kasali yung mga boundaries natin. Hindi kasali yung mga boundaries natin. So, the solution set is... The solution set is uh, negative 4 comma positive 1. Exclusive kasi hindi kasali si negative 4, hindi, hindi rin kasali si positive 1. Okay, so that is our answer for this problem. Okay, let us go to example problem number 2. We have 3x minus 1 divided by... Uh, x squared minus x minus 6 is less than or equal to 1. Okay, as you can see dito, itong right part ng inequality natin ay hindi equal to 0. That is why we need to rewrite this na yung right side of the inequality should be equal to 0. So we have 3x minus 1 over x squared minus x minus 6 then minus 1 should be less than or equal to 0. Okay? And then, kailangan natin isulat itong left part of the inequality na iisa lang yung denominator, o yung numerator, iisa lang din yung denominator. So, we need to add or subtract this one. Okay? Kailangan natin isubtract. The least common denominator is x squared minus x minus 6. So, 3x minus 1 minus, dito, x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, so that's less than or equal to 0. Okay, you need to understand how we came up with this one. This is just, uh, this is subtracting of polynomial expressions or rational expressions rather. Right? And then we need to simplify. Simplify natin ito. So, uh, okay, uh, negative x squared okay. 3x minus negative x, that's positive 4x. And then negative 1 minus negative 6, that's positive, positive 5. Okay, all over x squared minus x minus 6. So that's less than or equal to 0. Okay, so we need to... Uh, rewrite this kasi ang hirap mag-factor ano, na negative yung leading term natin dyan sa numerator so isusulat natin ito by factoring negative 1 tapos kapag pinactor na natin yung negative 1 magiging negative of x squared minus 4x minus 5 all over x squared minus x minus 6 is less than or equal to 0. We can now divide both sides by negative. So, pwede nating tanggalin yung negative na ito. Okay, hindi. Uh, or, sige, pwede nang nakalagay dyan, ano? It's up to you. Uh, Discarte natin ito. Pero, pwede mong tanggalin yung negative dyan by dividing both sides of the denominator with negative 1. Or, you can retain as it is na ganyan na siya. Okay? Kasi kapag nag-divide tayo ng, ng negative both sides, mag yung inequality symbol natin. So, magiging x squared minus 4x minus 5 okay, divided by x squared minus x minus 6. Ito magiging greater than or equal to 0 na yan. Okay? Okay. So, yan na. Pwede na tayong mag- Factor. So, what are the factors of the numerator? The factors of the numerator are x uh, minus 5 and x plus 1. And then the denominator naman, we have x minus 3 
and x plus 2. Okay, that's greater than or equal to 0. Okay, now let us look for the critical numbers. The critical numbers are the zeros of the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so the critical numbers... Okay, the critical numbers are, sulat natin isa-isa, positive 5, negative 1, positive 3, and negative 2. Okay, pwede natin isulat ito in ascending order, a negative 2, negative 1, positive 3, and positive 5. Okay, so itong apat na critical numbers natin na to divides our uh, real number our real number line into five intervals. Okay? So, now, we can write our intervals. Okay? So, ano yung mga intervals natin? So, we have from negative infinity to negative 2. We also have uh, from negative 2 to negative 1 and then from negative 1 to positive 3 and positive 3 to positive 5 and lastly we have from positive 5 to positive infinity so we have 5 intervals at gagawan natin ito ng table kagaya ng ginawa natin sa previous example so, we have written the intervals in the table as shown on the slide. So, gagawa ulit tayo ano, ng table kagaya ng ginawa natin in the previous example. So, dito sa susunod, susunod na column, dito yung test value natin. Okay? So, this is our test value. Okay, kuha tayo ng value dito sa, may, sa interval. Nandito sa interval. So, pwede natin kunin yung negative 5. Uh, between negative 2 and negative 1, we have negative 1.5, or that's negative uh, 3 over 2. Between negative 1 and 3, nandyan si 0. 3 to 5, we have 4. 5 to infinity, kahit ano, pwede 10. Okay? Then let's, let us determine the signs of each factor. Una, let us determine yung sign ng unang factor. We have uh, x minus 5. Ano ba yung unang factor natin dito? Uh, we have x minus 5, x plus 1. Okay? x minus 5, x plus 1. Tapos dun sa denominators, mer meron tayong x minus 3, tsaka x plus 2. x minus 3, and then we have x plus 2. Okay, and dito sa last na column, uh, ilalagay natin yung sign ng x okay. Okay, x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 1 divided by uh, x minus 3 x plus 2. Okay. So, when x is equal to negative 5, so negative 5 minus 5 is negative, negative 5 plus 1 is negative, negative 5 minus 3 is also negative, negative 5 minus 2 is negative. When x is equal to negative 3 over 2, so this is negative, this is also negative, this is also negative, this is positive. Okay, dito, when x equals 0, this is negative. This is positive, this is negative, this is positive. When x is equal to 4, so this is negative, this is positive, positive, 4 plus 2 is 6, so this is positive. Then when x is equal to 10, 10 minus 5 is positive, 10 plus 1 is positive, 10 minus 3 is positive, 10 plus 2 is positive. So, what happens kapag negative, negative, divided by negative, negative. So, that's positive. Huh? 
negative times negative divided by negative times positive so positive divided by negative is negative so this is positive kung there are ano dito ang ano naman dat basehan natin dito kapag there are odd numbers of negative negative yung sagot kagaya nito tatlo yung tatlo yung negative natin so magiging negative yung sagot Okay, dito, isa. So, this is negative. This is positive. So, doon sa inequality natin, yung final na inequality natin ito, ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung values ng x minus 5 times x minus 1 over x minus 3 times x plus 2 na greater than or equal to 0. Okay? So, lahat ng positive. Okay? So, lahat ng positive. So, ang solution set natin dito ay itong tatlo. Ito, ito, tsaka ito. Pero meron pa tayong isang tanong. Yung mga boundaries. Kasi dito, sa, dito sa, bound, dito sa ano natin, boundaries natin, dito sa inequality natin, meron tayong equal sign. Okay? Ibig sabihin nito, uh, kasali yung mga boundaries. Pero meron ulit isang restriction. Aside from that, meron tayong isang restriction dito the denominator di ba? the denominator cannot be equal to zero cannot be equal to zero bakit hindi pwede? kasi when the denominator is zero your whole expression is undefined okay? so hindi pwedeng maging x is equal to positive 3 or x is equal to negative 2. Okay, so tanggal na sa restriction natin yung dalawang critical numbers na positive 3 and negative 2. Pero, since yung mga, yung dalawang critical numbers natin na 5 and negative 1 nandoon sa numerator, pwede silang solution. Okay, so kasali si 5 and negative 1 pero hindi pwedeng sumali si 3 and negative 2. Because of this restriction na the denominator cannot be equal to 0. Punta tayo dito sa solution natin kanina. Ang solution natin from negative infinity to negative 2, negative 1 to positive 3, at saka positive 5 to infinity. Pero pwede natin isali si 5 and negative 1. So the solution set, the solution set is... So, from negative infinity, hindi pwede si negative 2, kaya open yan. Yun yun. Uh, negative 1 to positive 3, pwedeng sumali si negative 1, pero hindi pwede si positive 3. Okay, so, kasali si negative 1, so that's bracket. Hindi kasali si positive 3, so that's parenthesis. And then, yun yun, the last is 5, kasali si 5, so that's... 5, and then infinity. Okay? Yan na yung solution set natin for this particular example. Okay? So, tatlo yung interval. Kasali si negative 1 tsaka si 5. Pero hindi kasali si negative 2 tsaka si 3. So, that's all for rational inequalities. Thank you for listening.